South Dakota authorities arrest a suspect in connection with an attempted robbery in Rowena. This morning, how people in the small town stopped the holdup from taking place. Plus, how a Northwest Iowa high school marching band strikes all the right notes for young patients in Sioux Falls. Good morning, this is Kelloland On The Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. People inside of Rowena, South Dakota business foiled a suspect who allegedly tried to rob the business. Minnehaha County Sheriff's deputies along with Sioux Falls Police and the South Dakota Highway Patrol responded to the scene southeast of Sioux Falls late Saturday afternoon. Investigators say the people inside had been able to detain the suspect. They left the business and turned the suspect over to law enforcement. No one was hurt. The suspect, Deng Deng Jiel Jr., is charged with first degree attempted robbery. The 25th Women on the Prairie Conference hosted by the Presentation Sisters took place virtually to spread a message of hope and kindness this weekend. Attendees tuned in Saturday to hear Nicole Phillips, an author based in Ab Aberdeen. Phillips recently published a book titled The Negativity Remedy. She spoke to the Presentation Sisters in February for a retreat and was invited back for this event. I hope that that I was able to help women bridge that gap between living life and loving life and maybe just tweak their thinking just enough that they realize that their thoughts really matter and that their words and their actions really matter and that they can help create more light in this world. Now Phillips is originally from Wisconsin but moved to South Dakota with her husband about a year and a half ago. You can find out more about her and her books by following a link to this story on Kelloland.com or we've also provided a link where you can Learn more about the Presentation Sisters. The West Lyon High School Marching Band from Northwest Iowa competed in the Festival of Bands Saturday in Sioux Falls. Then band members gave an encore performance in front of a special audience last night. Band members played a selection of Beatles songs before patients at Sanford Children's Hospital. The students say they didn't realize at first that they would be performing there but they say it was a very pleasant surprise to be able to spread the joy of music to the young patients. Well, these are scary times in the midst of the pandemic for trick-or-treaters. The CDC has issued guidance for Halloween saying go to, going door-to-door -door could be risky due to the coronavirus, but that's not stopping families in one Sioux Falls neighborhood from making sure kids can still enjoy Halloween safely. Find out what they're doing to ensure spooky social distancing in tonight's Eye on Kelloland at 10. Well, let's get our first look at the forecast now with meteorologist Adam Root in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. We're off to a rather chilly start to the day, especially along I-29, where cloud cover was able to get out of here quickly, and the temperature was able to plummet as a result. We're sitting in the upper 20s right now in Sioux Falls. 28 this morning as we take a look at Falls Park with some steam coming off the water. A north breeze at 3 miles per hour. And we also have a little bit of fog just a little outside of Sioux Falls and in parts of northwestern Iowa for that matter. Dew point nice and low at 26 degrees, so we are going to have a very dry air mass in place for a while. And that means, unfortunately, no rain. 28 also in Brookings, 27 Ortonville and Sisseton, 32 in Aberdeen, 43 at the Capitol, 37 toward Rapid City and Custer, 42 Mulbridge also in winter. Not much of a breeze to speak of this morning, generally around 5 to 10 miles per hour with a variable direction in place, but it'll come out of the south predominantly as we head later on in the afternoon. Not much in the way of cloud cover today and really for the next couple of days for that matter beyond a few little cold fronts we're going to keep an eye on. If you want rainfall, you're going to have to head several hundred miles outside of Kelloland to get in on that. We'll talk about the, your seven-day forecast, which features warmer temperatures coming back in all in just a little bit. All right, thank you very much, Adam. On the showcase of remodeled homes and the outdoor living showcase offer the area's latest trends in home remodeling projects. The two showcases feature a total of 12 projects to check out, 11 in Sioux Falls and one in Hartford. The hours are from noon to 5. It costs $5 to see all of the projects. You can purchase tickets at any one of the sites. Riverview Christmas Tree Farm in Canton is hosting a pumpkin festival that includes pumpkin picking, pumpkin painting, pumpkin games, and a pumpkin slingshot. There will also be hay rides, farm animals, and fall crafts. Today's hours are from noon to 5. 
The South Dakota Artisan Fair features indoor shopping at the Sioux Falls Convention Center. More than 80 vendors will be selling their handmade works from 10 to 3. There will also be children's games, door prizes, and concessions. Admission is free. It's Military and Law Enforcement Day at the South Dakota Rodeo Association Finals at the WH Line Fairgrounds. Activities include a cowboy church service at 9 a.m. A Dakota Cowboy Trade Show goes from 10 to 3. The rodeo finals are at 1 o'clock. Admission is $10, free for ages 6 and under. Also at the fairgrounds, the Sioux Valley Model Engineer Society is hosting a free open house from 11 to 4 and includes the largest permanent model train layout in South Dakota. Guests are asked to practice social distancing and will only be allowed in the hallway of the building to view the layout. SuperCon Line is a virtual celebration of comic books, cosplay, anime, board and video games, science fiction and fantasy. SuperCon Line is a benefit for Reach Literacy and the JY6 Foundation. Adam? High pressure is going to hold serve and keep things nice and calm through the day today. It's also going to keep things nice and sunny as well, which will help us warm up a little bit more compared to what we had seen yesterday afternoon, especially East River, where we had cloud cover very much in place this time around. And we all get in on sunshine, so in turn, we'll be able to do a little bit better than yesterday. That southerly breeze I've mentioned before will also help things out. Now, believe it or not, we have two cold fronts we're going to be watching over the next about four to five days. The first one comes around on Monday. A little bit of cloud cover, maybe a sprinkle in northeastern Kelowland, but that's going to be just about it. The second one comes around late Tuesday into Wednesday. Again, a moisture-starved boundary with a small step backward on the thermometer to go with it. Monday and Tuesday, we should easily be in the mid to even upper 70s. We're talking about low, maybe mid 70s on Wednesday and Thursday, only to warm up again as we head toward the end of the week and the weekend. So if you want those cooler temperatures that we've had the last couple of days to stick around, you're just not getting that for a while. We're also not getting much in the way of rainfall. Goose eggs through the middle of the weekend, even through the end of the week for that matter. We just do not have anything coming around anytime soon as high temperatures today climb generally into the low to mid 60s. East River low to mid 70s out west with plenty of sunshine to go around. Low temperatures tonight warmer compared to what we had just seen talking about 40s to near 50 degrees and the seven day forecast stays above average by day and by night through the upcoming work and school week and even in the next weekend for that matter all the while rain is going to be virtually impossible to come by if you're joining us for Kelloland on the go you can get up to the minute developments right here on kelloland.com have a great day